Welcome back Stoner Squad and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperial Rome going for the Heraclea Persica achievement. So in the last episode we successfully taken on the Seleucids again with the help of our very very like powerful Egyptian neighbour who is very scary indeed. Uh, we will need to deal with him but for the moment it is not the priority. I'd like to get as much land as we can before I deal with this guy and also need to deal with like tech issues and everything like that. So today what we're going to do, well we have a lot of aggressive expansion so while this all goes down I think it's time we started working on the tech problem. Now, the religious kind of conversion is been going fantastically. Now, you can see most of it is Zoroastrian, and most of the cities are. So, what we're going to do, we're going to be getting rid of these temples where I can get rid of them, and we are going to be building some lives and some academies. But for that, we need cash, and we need lots of it. So, the first thing we're going to do is going to try and make more cash. Now, at the moment, we make 38.14 gold per month. Okay, not bad. I could do better. And what I mean by do better is we're going to change our idea slots. Now, I currently have military administration and like strategic propaganda here. I don't really need all that at the moment, to be honest. Unintegrated culture happiness could be useful, but there's something else I want to get. But the first of all, we're going to get rid of the amount of armies. I'm not at war at the moment, so I'm going to go for the national slave output plus 20%. Why that? Well, we have a shed load of slaves. I like have 54% of our pops are slaves. They're going to make a hell of a lot of gold for us, so um, we'll definitely do that. So, slave output. Thank you. Now, I'm going to lose this bonus here, but I'm not really bothered. Don't, like, kind of be worried about juggling between national ideas, only because you will lose your bonus. Honestly, I mean, here I don't really need it. The tyranny, we've got zero tyranny. Uh, citizen happiness could be useful, but, yeah, it, it would help get, like, more tech in a little bit. But... No, I don't really need it because our pops are kind of happy. Um, desired free win ratio in cities, I don't really need that because we have a lot of manpower and we gain it back like really quickly per month since we have a lot of pops. So just might as well swap them out. So I am going to get rid of the loyalty of generals and admirals, I think. Um, let me just check here. You're one general. You've got plus 10 loyalty at the moment. I can bribe you again, I suppose. So I'm going to get rid of the military administration. I'm going to swap it for patronized scholars. Research points plus 20%. Okay, so that is fantastic. What else is there in here could I possibly go for? Pop conversion speed plus 20% as well. We're going to go for that. We're going to bang all this on. Costing us a bit of PI, but whatever. I want this. This is fantastic. I can actually finally get that now. And that is going to help us literally speed the rest of the conversion up now. So if I go into the different areas, it should be a little... Yeah, look at that. It's 5.78% in here with... An area which has a lot of unrest, or like 1.72 unrest. Let's go to somewhere with a lot of unrest, for example. Like, what about over here? Here we have none. Here we have none. Here I've got a bit of unrest. And the conversion's not happened there. Oh, well, maybe I have to go forward for like, to, like, take into account. But I think that's the best way forward at the moment. We should be making a lot of gold. I'm guessing we're going to make more than 38 once I start the game. Uh, but anyway, without any further ado, let's go on. Bim, bam, boom. So, how much you make? 39? 41, 42, we make a lot. Eager consul. So consul Higley in his day approached the court with an interesting proposal. Namely, given the worrying war we find ourselves in and our own martial prowess, the personal leadership of an army by the skilled Zayathea, Zayathan and Battis, she should accompany us into battle. Why not? You gain loyalty with us. You can join us. We make 43, 44, yeah, we're making a fair 45 gold, 50 gold here. Look, bim, bam, boom. It's really, really starting to crime. So 50 gold per month is a lot, plus a bountiful harvest, which I'm going to take, because that is a lot of fantastic, juicy gold. And um, now the rest of the areas which need to, like, literally convert should be going pretty quickly. As soon as we kind of get the temples in here and stuff and get, like, unrest down over here, it shouldn't be a problem. Here it is fine. So now what I need to do is do the long and, like, kind of boring thing of actually kind of getting rid of the buildings that we no longer need. So, where are the areas I can build some stuff? Here I can get another live, which we will do. Here I can't. I need to actually go through territory, so we'll go for the cities here. Here we're like full-on conversion pretty much, so we're going to get rid of... I'll get rid of like maybe, yeah, two of them. Yeah, I'll leave one in actually. I'll just leave one and we'll get a um, double academy and a live. What about over here? Yeah, here's the same... This may be, like, tedious, but it has to literally be done. And I would really advise you guys to do this. So if anyone watching, I want to, like, help kind of... Um, if you're starting off as a culture that doesn't have... A, like, in an area that doesn't have your, like, state culture or state religion, then hopefully by showing you everything I do, it would help you guys. So this is why I'm, like, opting to show this to you. All right, let's get rid of this as well. I can probably get rid of them. We'll go for lives. Double them as well. Why not? Here again, same principle. We'll go for... Academy lives. Actually, I should probably like keep the game going while I do this. 
So we can make as much gold as we can possibly make while we do this. Again here, I can probably leave one because there's not going to be that many pots in there. Um, Nisa here, or Nisa. We can definitely do something here. I might actually go for a tradition here as well. Every infantry offense will take. I have a lot of military experience, so it's, it's fine. We can easily afford to pay for that. Let's go double live and an academy. Again, same principle. Anywhere where we can get any other buildings, I shall do the same thing. What about over here now? Wow, here it's going up by 7.94%. It's going really quickly. Um, here as well, maybe? Yep, here it's full. We'll get rid of them here. I'll leave one in here because there's not that many pops. I try and, like, kind of leave the amount of temples proportionate to the amount of pops. Like, when there's not many, like, here I wouldn't need to keep two. One is enough. And it does help keep the happiness up a little bit, to be honest. Let's go for an academy and a lie, as per usual. Same things. More nobles. All that sort of good stuff. State religion happiness plus 3%. That's pretty useful, actually, for the temple. Um, we're going to go for... Yeah, we'll go for this again. Blessing of Zoroaster. We'll keep popping on the kind of Zoroastrian faith all over the place. Here, it's not entirely done yet. It is not. I could probably move some pots around, to be honest. Or should I move some pots around? Nah, here I don't really need to, to be fair. Anyway, what about in this place? Here, it's pretty Zoroastrian, so we can... Oh, I can't build anymore in there, can I? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, no, here I can. Got the wrong place. But here again, I'll just get rid of two, and we'll go Academy Live. Here, same principle. Yeah, we've just got to do this all over the place. Again, I do apologize if it's tedious, but it has to be done. It literally has to be done. Um, here I'll get rid of one, and I'll get an academy, another academy there. Here I probably don't need all of them in anymore. Get rid of two, and then we can go live, academy, all that sort of good juicy stuff. Darth, if you want to trade, no problem. Where's my forces? Are you not moving? Oh, you need to come home, buddy. Yeah, you do. You need to come home. I didn't realise you were not moving because you're going to lose man. We're going to lose manpower if you stay there and like lose all the troops. Anyway, back to business again. Back to the long, tedious business march of turning all of these places into Zoroastrian hubs. And what about here? Here it's pretty much done. So I can get rid of two temples. Get one of each there. Prosperity. We'll go for the stability here for the moment. Stability is needed. Desperately needed, because we are going to be losing some 0.39 due to the fact that we have high aggressive expansion. So I am going to get on my Sacrifice of Pig. Kind of maintain it as high as I possibly can. But now it's going to go down a little bit slower. I'll happily do that. Here it's fully converted as well. We'll go down this. I probably don't even... I'm going to keep that. I'll keep the forum. Screw it. It's there. It's worked to get some extra manpower, so we might as well keep it. And there's nothing else we can really do. We've just got to do this while we wait for aggressive expansion to go down. And then hopefully the pops will start promoting and we should be able to get like more tech and up the tech levels a bit quicker. A petitioner approaches. So a mature individual by the name of Faraoth uh, Fasorotis Proctid approached our king in private this morning. In a hushed voice he spoke of a vision of a near future in which he was found by his loved ones having been impelled by a battering ram. But I'm going to go for the gold here. The gold would be nice and I might get some tech. Citizen output would be nice. Aggressive expansion change. Integrated culture happiness as well. This is all really useful. Um, I'm going to go for the integrated culture happiness. Just because we have like a lot of cultures that are integrated. And maybe with that we could probably focus on integrating another culture at some point. I mean I have a lot of Pontic pops. And I'm very tempted to integrate the Pontics next. And I might actually do that. I think it would be a good idea to do so. And then what about here? That's full... You want to trade some more? No problem, buddy. Here we're fully converted. It's crazy how how well it's worked, to be honest. I wasn't expecting it to work as well <laughs> as it has done, but it's worked pretty well. I also need roads, to be honest, as well. We're going to need to get a few roads at some point. That is something we're going to desperately need. Roads is going to be incredibly important. Um, can I actually build roads yet? That is the question I, uh, I am going to be asking myself. Can I go for roads? I wonder what tech level it is. I'll have to check in a minute. We'll have a check if I can build roads. I could get the governor forces to do them. Yeah, I can actually build roads. So, um, we are going to build some. I'm probably just going to... I'm not going to do, like, a massive road network. I'll just build a network that goes through the country so I can actually move the troops around as fast as possible. 
what is our tech like now? 130%. So we are getting there and it is working. We should catch up with the others in no time. I'm hoping that's what will happen. I'm hoping we can catch up with everybody. Because we don't want to be too far behind Egypt. If we are, they're going to be really, 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 really annoying. And it's going to be really hard to take them down. Uh, but anyway, heated debates in the court are not uncommon, especially when there were so many prominent members of society involved. Lately, a wave of xenophobia was swept across to Rackley Pontica, resulting in fine values being discarded with distrust. All in attendance to the day, in today's debate, sorry, agreed, however, that by Gayash Bayad men had crossed the line today when he accused us, so the king, Battis, of indulging in barbaric Aquitanai practices. Who are you? You're the head of the Menid family. Don't want to lose loyalty with you, buddy. So, I'm going to start seeing you as a rival. Oh, well. It is what it is. Um, now, I was going to do something here. I can't remember what it was. I was going to do something important. What was it? My mind's gone. I completely forgot what it was. Our legitimacy is so goddamn low. Is there anything I can do to help with that? I could spend some PI and gain a bit of tyranny. Our tyranny goes down a little bit per month. I'll spend some of that. We gain a bit more legitimacy per month. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Get my tutor and get him to tutor the, tutor the heir. Well, I have a royal offspring. Oh, maybe because it's the grandson, it doesn't count. That's maybe, maybe that's why I can't do it. Is there any laws I can change for religious conversion? Not yet. I'd like that as well. If you couple that with the religious conversion national idea, it, it works really well. Um, I could also go for the desired citizen like kind of um, ratio in cities, which would be nice. That's a pretty good piece of tech to have. And then I could do like exemption for nobility, so I could go for that and that, and then basically my governors and generals won't kind of lose any loyalty because both of them balance each other out. One does um, one does governors and one does generals, so none of them really lose any loyalty. I might do that at some point. I'm very tempted to try that out. Now, uh, what about Kornos here? Here yeah, the conversion is going pretty well. Again, I'll get rid of an extra one and we'll just go double live there. What about over here? How's this going? Wow, this has worked really well. So we can get rid of maybe... Leave two in there now, I think. would be pretty fine. And then what I could do is probably go for three of them and an extra academy. That would work for us. What about over here? I really like it when something you've planned works well. Like how this has now. Um, here I can't change that just yet. Now what about you, buddy? Here we can, though. I'll leave one here. Get double them. Another live. Again, just the same principle. It's nothing changes. Tech is incredibly important. You need tech. And if you're behind your rivals on tech, it gets very difficult indeed. Like, very, very difficult. You just need to look how much trouble I had taking Carthage down as um, Gaul in the previous uh, Let's Play series, or the previous ach Achievement Hunt series. And I had like a massive, massive, like a really hard time in taking them down. Oh, I need more gold, people. More gold is needed. I make 51 per month though, which is a lot. Um, I know what I could do with next as well. I could do with getting a Governor Force, I think, for the new region we've got. But anyway... At Tizzi's Menid has initiated a wine-raging restructuring of the officer known as Command. He assures us this will allow for a more efficient command hierarchy. You gain loyalty and one of armies. Yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. That is definitely fine. All right, let's get another academy here. There we go. I think I've done this section. And then we need to go and do the other section. I also need to found some more cities, I think, in like the middle of nowhere here. I have enough PI to found one. And we do have our national kind of bonus. Which does allow us to found cities really cheaply. So founding some more cities would be something I'd like to do. And what's the loyalty like down here, by the way? Need to check this out. Is it going down? Only a little bit. It's not that bad, actually. Yeah, it really ain't even that bad. Like, literally not that bad. Um, here I'm going to swap this to religious conversion. I might be able to swap them all to religious conversion, to be honest. I mean, let's. I mean, that's working here. What about this area? What if I was to do this? Only, only by 0.14. And if I get a big enough governor force, then we're going to be able to like keep this under control. Yeah, we're definitely going to get an 18k governor stack. So, I mean, that's just going to be fine. Uh, however, Iberia owns this. That's a shame. I would like to have owned that myself. Um, well, let's pop this on religious conversion as well. 
I think they're all on religious conversion here. They are. That's fantastic. Right, now what we're going to do, we're going to upgrade this governor force. So I'll go for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll go for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we'll go for 6, 7, 8. So that's 18k stack. I'm going to assign you to the governor now. And this should help with the unrest and should solve the problem that we have. We're 130% at the moment. I could do with extra pop promotion speed, to be honest. Do I have a surplus of livestock in the capital? I do. I could do with some more trade routes, to be honest. We could do with some more food. That is going to be, like, vital. What else? Let's check the middle section, then. Here, we need to check. So this is done. I think I've done it all down here, haven't I? Or have I? I haven't done down here yet. So get rid of some of them. Carthage want to trade, buddy. No problem. Go one of each here. Down here is good as well. I'll get rid of two. We'll leave one. I always leave one just so we can actually speed up conversion of any, like, slaves that move in that we capture. What next? Another one of these. We'll keep moving. Oh, just so many. Hopefully this... I really hope that this policy is going to work. I think it should. There's no reason why it won't. It should literally be fine. Just have a load of small cities um, in these small cities. They're not going to be like massive cities, but we should just like have enough pops in there to be able to get our tech up, get more citizens, get more nobles. What about here? Yeah, here's fine. I can easily get rid of one. Good job we're making a lot of gold because it is costing a lot. And I need to get aggressive expansion down even more. I ain't going to be able to move until we get it down. That is for sure. Here we've got a nothing in this city. Are you kidding me? Come on, buddy. Need more gold. Extra religious advances. Cool. We can get some manpower, freeman happiness, army morale recovery, but I don't really want any of that at the moment. Not something that I really think we need. Um, here, I'm going to get rid of these theatres. I don't need them. And we'll get some more lives. Well, I need more gold, people. More gold, more gold, more gold. Do I own this down here? I don't think I do. Oh, we do own this down here. Um, anyway, Granu's raided. We've received word from local officials at the province of Aeolia and that several important provincial food stockpiles have been looted by malcontents. I can't afford it, so the governor's going to pay for them. I can lose the PI and the manpower, actually. We'll do that. I gain loyalty with the province by doing that, so we'll definitely do it that way. And what about down here? Oh, extra orchard advances, loyalty of characters, improved maximum opinion, tribute income, all that is pretty nice. A fugitive crossed the borders, so fleeing the dreadful war with Carthage, a number of important dignitaries have managed to escape to our lands, hoping to find refuge. I can either welcome them. You're a really good military commander. Or I can put them to death. And Carthage gains opinion. I'm going to welcome them, because there's some pretty decent characters in there. And you never know what we might be able to do with it. So where am I going next? Down here, maybe? Here I can go for another live. That would work for us. Here I can't do anything else. Here I can probably get rid of one of them. Go for an academy here. What about here? Yeah, here we can get rid of two temples. Get rid of them. Oh, this is like really tedious, but it has to be done. And I'll be happy once I've done it. I really will. I think once we've done it, we, we're going to be incredibly happy that we can... Um, so we can make sure that the tech's all right. I'm going to leave two temples in here. I'm going to go for double live academy. A double live and double academy, I think, would be the best possible course of, here, course of action there. I need another trade route over here, by the way. So, what do I go for? Can I get a surplus of gemstones? I can't. I could probably go for... A, I mean, I could do with some extra food, I think. So, we're going to go for some grain. And I get it from my client. Because, yeah, we, are, we were running low on food over there. I need a new religious researcher. And I'm going to put the best man for the job, which is... Actually, I'm not going to put you. Because I'm going to put you. You're part of a major family. You've only got, like, one zeal point less. So I'm going to put you on first. It just saves me when one dies, having to have the horrible scorn family things peeing me off all the time. Um, so what was I building? I was building somewhere. Was it down here? I think it was. No, down here I built... Someone else died. The orchard researcher. God, I'm losing people left, right, and centre. I'll put you because you're the best one for the job. How much gold am I making? I'm 49 still, so a pretty like high level of gold. Um, here we'll get rid of these. Double that. Another academy. Chapur falls ill. 
No, I'll find me air has fallen ill. I need to seek treatment. So I'm gonna save up I'm gonna save gold. He's got inflammation. Actually, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm actually gonna mark him just so I know when he comes of age. I don't want to find out when how good he is when he does finally come of age. So I've got a level two fort on this place. I might level th Nah, I don't need to level three it, do I? Oh, I can't even build anything. I don't even own that. Do I own it? Oh, I don't own it. That's why. Of course, silly me. I don't even own that place. Uh, what next? Down here's another area. We're fine here. Could probably get rid of one. Um, probably should get a an academy here. That would help a little bit. Ah, here we've got a lot of pops, and they are all converted. So let's go one. Leave two in there, I think. Double that academy. Double live, double academy. Nicer, that's also done. We'll get rid of two of you and we'll go for one of each. A trade influx. So our trade agreement with Egypt has yielded a splendid return on investment. Along with the flow of wealth between the two states, the movement of people is accelerating. Um, yeah, I'll gain two citizens. I don't want to lose opinion with them, so I'll just gain two citizens. Losing opinion with Egypt is not something I want to do. At all. Here it's pretty much Zoroastrian, um, so I can get rid of like one and then we'll go for another live. Time devotion, three stability, yes please buddy. It is really a good job we make so much gold because it just allows us to... It just allows us to get all this done quickly. Where's our tech level now? 118%. So we're getting there. We are getting there. We're hitting the right sweet spots. And it'll be even better once we start founding some more cities. And there's nothing really else we can do. The high aggressive expansion is being a bit of a pain. Um, I know what I could do, though, and I probably should, actually. Let's fabricate as many claims as we can. I always tend to forget to make claims, so... Let's make some on... Uh, Shoinik, a riot. What's down here, by the way? There's a bit down here. This is uh, Corduin. Do I have a claim on Corduin? Crap, did I make the claim there by accident? Did I click on that? Damn, I'm making a claim on this guy. Oh well. Oh well, we're making we'll just make multiple claims. <laughs> it's fine. Iberia, I don't want any claims on you, do I? Not really. Yeah, I don't really want any claims on you. I don't even need any claims on you to be honest. That land doesn't really interest me, to be honest. Doesn't really interest me in the slightest. Um, what about over here? Here we're pretty much full. So we'll go for live academy. I'll leave one. Then I can go for another live. Over here, we're good. Actually, over here, I can get... I should probably go for an aqueduct here, to be honest. The capital as well. We're going to need an aqueduct. Well, I've got, like, five temples in here that I can absolutely get rid of. I can just leave two. That's, like, more than enough. Double live and academy. By the way, I have barbarians annoying me. What, what, what are they doing there? Well, good job I have a pretty big governor stack to deal with that, so... But that's fine. Uh, did I build... What is it? Is it here where I built something? Yeah, here's where I need to go for another one. Go for another academy. That's fine. I'm also going to need to move province capitals at some point. I know there's some that I haven't moved out yet. That I should probably have done. Um, I'm going to leave two in here. We'll get rid of this thing there. Go for double libe. Well, I need more gold, people. Need more gold. Oh, we beat the bobs? Yeah, we did beat the bobs. We've got a bit of gold for it. So that's fine. You're going to go back over here. That's fairly easy. Is it here? Where was where was I building like another building? Oh, it's here. This is where I was doing it. Another one of you. And we'll go for another live. I think we're getting close to kind of changing, like getting all the stuff built here. What's the religion like now? Yeah, look look at this. It's just all pretty much done. Um, the next issue, or next I would say issue, will be this area, but I can always develop this a bit later on. I'm not really bothered about developing it straight away. What I just want to do now is keep building these damn buildings and keep going for as many lives and academies as we can get. Hopefully found some more cities as well. Right here I can build a few. Probably go for another academy, even another live in there. All that sort of useful stuff. What about over here? Wow, over here it's also full. 
And we have a lot of potential kind of building, like building slots there. Same for here. What about here? Yeah, here we're full up. Easy. Uh, veterans move on, so I gain 2,000 manpower and a lay against like plus 15% to local tax, which is pretty cool. Um, let's get rid of this here, and now I want double that. I don't even have the gold. I could call the national tax, but I'm going to call the keep calling in the blessing of Zoraster. We need to keep doing it. I like it how, I love how we've actually managed to get all that done. I'm really happy with that. It makes me, it makes me happy and proud. Right, any more to build? Yeah, go for another one. Another one there. Got potential trade here. Still not making enough, like, food. But maybe go for some more grain? Oh, cool. Gift from the gods. Was it because I was in debt? I wasn't in debt, was I? Of course I wasn't in debt. Apparently I was, but I didn't think I was. Um, I'm actually going to keep the gold, because now we can actually build a lot of stuff. But let's go. Need to build all the all the required stuff. I can proclaim theocratic monarchy, which I don't really want. Don't want to change that. That's not going to happen. Um, let's keep building what we need. I'll actually take the prosperity here. I'm going to go for the stability again. As long as we can keep it rising, I'm happy. We'll do double of each there. And then I'll probably in between like this episode and the next one, what I'll do is I will probably move some province capitals around. I'm here. I'm not going to change this yet. Here I'm not as well. I think this might be like a later area. Yeah, it is a little bit of a later area. I'm going to get rid of this there and pop another theater on there. Maybe down here we can do something. Here it's pretty much good, but I'm going to leave it that way. Here we're good. Here we're good. Where's the rest of our land? Did I own this for, have I owned this for quite a while? I have actually. I can get rid of one. And I'll go for a live. Here as well, I can get rid of one and we can go for live at Academy. Here I've got nothing. So I should probably build some temples. Speed things up. And then we'll do live Academy. I think all the others now, since we can really speed things up, I don't need like 1500 temples in like every single city. I don't think that is needed. Oh, I've got some space here though. What about this area? Okay, I can get rid of one of these though. And we can go for another live and double academy. That works for me. What about over here? Here as well. Oh, a bountiful harvest. Thank God. Thank you. 800 gold. I'm going to go for some tech with that now. And I think maybe national citizen output would be nice. Yeah, the national citizen output is going to be nice, isn't it? The hyper course plus 3%. It all adds up. It all adds up and it all helps this point. Look, 125% now. 126%. It's insane how we've gone from like 40 to 50% all the way up to 125%. And it works. And I'm definitely going to be building more cities, by the way. Like, especially in this area here. We'll get another one in here, maybe. I could also fit... Where could I fit some more? I could probably fit another one in here. Yeah, I can definitely fit another one there. I can fit another one in here. Maybe another one, not another one there, but there's a fair few I can actually fit in. That I feel would be a good thing to do. Uh, what are they at? Level 10 now, military tech? We're at level 7, but we are eating through the levels. Which is really cool. Um, do I own this? I don't own this. Um, I think all these areas are now pretty much done. And I think now we can focus on, maybe on this side here. There is a few cities over in the newly acquired lands that I think we should build some temples in. So let's go. But what I'm going to do is we shall construct temples where we can build them over here. Actually, I might need them down here. Do I need them down here? No, I don't. This is actually full Zoroastrian already. I'll get rid of one. And then we can go Live Academy. What about this section? Yeah, here it needs more though. Here it needs definitely needs more time. So we're going to put another one here just to speed things up. Yeah, I'm going to leave. Wow, there's like 25 bloody slaves in there. That's insane. That's like really a lot. Now, what we got here? There we're fine. Here it's not Zoroastrian yet. So what I'm going to do is double temple and I'll just get a live in there. Here, how fast is the conversion going? 1%. I think we might just fill this up with... Um... Yeah, I'm going to fill it up. We'll fill it up with temples. Six stability for 10 PI. Yes, please. Then I'll go for an, maybe a live with it. 
Yeah, I think we can get up. We can afford to get alive with this. No problem. By the way, our son has come of age. What is he like? He's not bad. He's really not bad. 6816, he's okay. Can we get you married, dude? Like Thrace. They do have another trait, don't they? No, you literally hate me, buddy. Um, can I consolidate our alliance, Egypt, a little bit more? Like, maybe if we were to get another marriage between one of your daughters, that would be pretty cool. Like, with you, for example, who is also very good. 6847, let's have some of this. Uh, with my primary heir. Uh, I like that. There we go, so they gain more opinion of us. I'm happy with that. That is something that I'm really happy with. Um, what about the next pieces of the puzzle here? It's got, now, there's not really that many cities around here, and it's something we're going to have to solve. Here, it is pretty much Zoroastrian, to be honest. And I can make it a little bit more Zoroastrian, to be fair. Maybe get another couple of temples? Yeah, I'll probably get another couple of temples in there, to be honest. So we'll get one now. We'll get, like, two. I'll get a third one, maybe. That should be just about right. I don't think I own this, though. I need to check. Shame I can't really see what I own and what I don't own. Oh, I do. I own all this here. Well, this was already done by me. What about over this side? Do I own you? I do own you here, don't I? I do. Can I, like, get a city anywhere here? Is there anywhere, like, I could probably build one? I mean, I've already got a city on the hills there. I mean... I'm going to leave it there, to be honest. I've already got a city there. I don't need to waste time with that. I'll leave it there. And now we're good. Now we're saving gold for roads. I think roads is going to be the next step. 133%. Look at it go. Look at it climb, people. Look at it climb. I've got another claim on the slew kids. Let's make another claim on you, buddy. Um, Cordwine. Can I make a... I've already got a claim on Cordwine or not. No, I don't. I'd like a claim on Cordwine, buddy. Please. And I can't make a claim on Cordwine? Why not? Oh, well, I can just occupy it in the next war on my own. I don't really need to bother thinking about that, but I'm just going to make some more claims. What about you down here? What's this? Parashak or Media? Parashak. Yeah, we'll do that. Get as many claims as I can. And I think we're very close to be able to start another war, to be honest. And I think what we'll do this time is I will probably creep down this section. I mean, what I'll probably get the Armenian province here. Then we'll creep all the way down here, I think. Like here and then like down this section would be good. And then I could probably get a common border with these with Ad, with Adjubin. And then I can take Adjubin on. That would be nice. Um, now, what do I do next? Do I save up and get a load of tech or not? I mean, what's the next level to give us? We've got Siege Engineers and Heavy Infantry Cost. Here we have Export Value, POC Capacity, Freeman Output. This one we have Diplo Relations, is pretty neat. Provincial Loyalty there is pretty good. An Integrated Culture Happiness plus 3% is also quite nice. Hmm, do I lose the gold here? No, I'm going to lose Legitimacy and lose Loyalty with you for the moment. I mean, I can't afford to do anything else. We just need more Legitimacy. I might have to, like, do something. Can I, like, prove legitimacy? Which I am going to do. I'll, improve le I'll prove legitimacy. And can I, like, hold some games or something? Or, like, patronize the arts? No. We need more. Are you dying yet, dude? Well, he is. Oh, he's nearly dead. He's literally nearly dead. I'll probably just go... I'll probably keep playing until he dies. And then I'll cut the episode there, I think. Uh, Twisted the Knife. So, Batis the First Sheminid, for reasons known only to himself, has begun to view Bagoas proctored with jealousy and distrust. I'm viewing the head of the Proctid family as my rival. That's not cool. Like, literally not good at all. What's the religion like going? Spreading nicely. Still going, still spreading. And we're dead. And we are finally dead. Transition of power, long live the monarchy, so all of the provinces lose five loyalty, which is normal. Our new ruler now is Shapur Sheminid. Um, and there's a succession crisis, and a rebel army is raised by my mother. Is it my mother? It is. My mother raises a rebel army. Why? Why is she raising a rebel army? I don't understand that. Like, literally, why? She's not disloyal towards me. 
Where is the rebel army? It is here. She is disloyal, actually. But she can be bribed. I'm going to bribe her and bring her under control. Okay. Now she's under control. What I'm going to do is probably get rid of the units I don't want. So I'm going to keep get rid of the light units. Um, these guys I'm probably going to get rid of. I don't need. So they can go away. However, this I'm going to keep. I'm going to use this to start the construction of a of a new army, I think. Another 30k stack. It saves me like wasting manpower and recruiting them in, so that's fine. However, I do have this dude being a douchebag here. He hates my guts, but you're not very powerful. Neither are you. Um, you are, though. You've got 46 power base, so I might need to make... F I might need to give you... Can I give you free hands? Should I give you free hands? No. I could bribe you. Or we'll make friends. Well, I'm going to bribe you for the moment. And then I'll probably get some corruption reduction at some point. But um, anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, people. Thank you so much for joining me. It has been a very tedious episode, I have to admit. But it's something that I had to do. I felt like that it was needed. And we are kind of reaping the rewards for our efforts here. The Zoroastrian faith is kind of majoritarily spread all over Anatolia, which is fantastic. Our tech rate is 123%. Um, I can get it up even more once the stability rises because, of course, our pop happiness is down by 23% because of our low stability, which means the pops aren't producing more, which means less research points and less tech. However, we now have, of course, Shapur in charge, and he's got, of course, the blood of the Arjads. He's also got blood of the Jedi, which gives us extra research points plus 5%. More unintegrated culture group happiness, so the pop should produce a bit more. We also have the aggressive expansion impact minus 10%, which is fantastic. An extra monthly stability change, some extra legitimacy. We have high legitimacy, actually. It is not that bad. It's only the native stability that is really affecting us here. But um, anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed things, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see some more Imperial Rome content, then please consider subscribing to the channel for more. And with that said and done, thank you so much for being here, and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.